Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be reupholstering my large cocktail size ottoman. So if you would like to see how this all turns out, please stick around. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. Let's get started. <laughs> everyone so as you can see this is what I'm up to now here now I took the as you saw in the previous clip I took the outer fabric off now let me just start by saying that's my kids in the background so don't worry about that noise let me start by saying that normally when I reupholster things and this is not my first time I just cover whatever existing material is already there just path of least resistance just keep it simple on this instance for this ottoman, there was like a little bit of a structural issue where there was some sagging. So I bought a piece of plywood, as you can see, right over there. Um, I bought that piece of plywood right over there to reinforce that area so that the cushion would not sink in. Now, I don't know why I did this because before I took this apart, I thought about it and how I was going to do it. And then when it got time to do it, I just went hammer happy and I tried to remove the pieces from the bottom and insert that wood from underneath here when I had already like thought it through and looked at it and figured out that it would be easier just to remove the top add the additional piece on top and then reapply that so anyhow now this is where we are that's what I'm about to do now but I am going to have to go back underneath so let me show you right over here these were the slats if you can see those um right here those were the slats that were underneath the ottoman and so obviously now I have to reinforce that again so I'm gonna lift this top off see if I can slip that piece of plywood just in place secure that and then I'm gonna have to flip it back over and figure out the easiest way to reinsert those slats so that this is all reinforced and sturdy because of course number one it needs to be sturdy and safe because the kids do climb on it sit on it and so do you. so i'm going to get back into that show you a little more footage of that the video may seem a little bit fragmented because as i said my kids are here i have to make sure i keep the area safe for them and then if i have to stop to help them i have to do that so anyhow let's get back into it see I fit in the new piece of plywood and then I've taken the slats from underneath so I basically just superimposed everything on top I feel like that's gonna be sturdy and secure and underneath these side slats you see right here they're reinforced by the corner wedge that is um, drilled in which holds the leg so I feel like it will support that and then also the center piece I feel like it's thick enough to be sturdy and it has the support um running this way on either side so now i'm going to take a break because the kids need a snack and then i'm going to come back and i'm going to nail these pieces into place make sure everything is firm and secure then i will be as you can see right there on the couch i'll be putting the cushion and the batting back in place i have my staple gun to do that and then the fabric you see there stretched out on the couch will ultimately be covering the whole piece and then I'm going to screw the legs 
back onto it. Actually, I'm gonna see how high it is, how I like it without the legs, cause the legs give it about six to seven inches of height. So I'll see, but I will come back to show you all the finished product. It is several days later. As you can see, I have reassembled the ottoman, I reused the batting and the foam because it was still in good condition. And I reinforced the top part, which you saw in a previous clip. This is many days later because I had to stop. I had other things come up. So I'm finally finishing it. However, if you were doing it, say hi, mama. If you were doing this project and you did it straight through, it definitely, say hi, Connor. Hi. It definitely does not take that long. All right, guys, go over there and play with your toys. And now we are about to get to the main part, which is covering the ottoman in the fabric. So right here is the fabric that I have, which I believe I've showed you guys before. So this is the fabric. I really love it. It's nice and colorful. Daddy, yeah. Nice, right? I actually got this yeah. off yeah. Amazon yeah. for, I, I want to say it was, four, it was $14. And with Prime, it was free shipping. And um, it's listed as a boho wall hanging, something to that effect. But it is fabric, so I'm going to be using it to cover it. So, watch out, Mama. As you can see, this big um, mandala piece in the center, the main thing that I want to do is make sure that that's centered right here on the ottoman. So I'm going to lay this across here, get it positioned, and then I'm going to tilt the ottoman up and start to staple it into place. I tell them something. Connor, let Mommy finish this. So I'm going to get that in place, and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I have it um, centered and set pretty much to where I want to be. I like this positioning of it. So now what I'm going to do is smooth this down, tilt this up, and I'm going to place a staple right here. One on each four sides just to hold it in place so I know it keeps the position I want. Then I'm going to totally flip it over and do the staples all around. So... Yeah, I'm gonna do that and then I will come back and I'll show you doing I will show you me doing the staples all around. But like I said, I'm gonna do one staple on each four sides to hold um the center in place. Then I'm gonna flip it over. So I'll be right back. Now you can see I have it turned over, like I said, it's secured on either end, so it will hold in position. Now I'm gonna go around poking the fabric up and taut over the edge and stapling it in place. Yes. I'm gonna save the world with my flying
finish doing the remaining four corners around just like this. Make sure everything is secure in place. And then I'm going to turn it over and come back so you can see it. And as I said previous, this does have um, legs to screw into it that lifts it up about four inches off the ground. But I'm not sure if I'm going to put them back on or not. I may put them back on just to show you. And then, Connor, quiet down please. Then also, this extra fabric you see here, after I make sure everything is secured tightly in place around, I'm going to make the scissors and trim the excess because I have to leave the holes here for the legs if I do decide to put them back on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I will be back. Okay, as you can see, I've went around. I secured the corners. Everything is stapled around in place. I flipped it up to look at it. I like the... You know, placement and the tautness. So now I'm going to take the scissors and trim the excess fabric. for how tightly you have it pulled you don't want to mess with that so mama here get that toy there you go so you just want to make sure to leave that uncovered but now i'm going to screw the legs in and show you it all complete all right everyone as you can see i have finished covering the ottoman this is how it came out the legs are on it right now let me take you guys over closer so you can see so here we go we have the mandala right in the center like I discussed before I really like how it turned out the colors are nice and bright and popping and I like how it picks up on other colors I have in the house you see some teal I have some teals over there some greens some purples and it all ties back in here. Now, this is where I was talking about the legs. As you can see right there, how much it lifts it up off the ground. So, for right now, I'm going to leave them on there. But I may take them off just to see how low it is. Because um, I may like it that way better. I don't know. But, this is the finished product. I really love how it turned out. Let me know in the comments what you think. Have you done any have you done any reupholstering projects of your own? If so, how did they turn out? As I said, this is fairly inexpensive. This ottoman I originally brought brand new two years ago. The fabric on it with the kids, it didn't hold up very well. So that's why I decided to refinish it. And also, I just wanted to go for a different look than from what um, the original material was. So... I'm definitely happy with it. I like it. And like I said, if I didn't have to reinforce the frame, this would have been a quick, like, less than an hour project. But because I had to measure and get wood cut and just do all of that to reinforce it, that's what ended up having it spill over and um, take me such a long time. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY, and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your notification bell so you'll know when I upload next.